now let us discuss about 4 bit binary adder binary adder is mainly useful in order to add two binary numbers uh, here the size of a binary number is 4 bits so by using binary adder we can add uh, two binary numbers whose size is 4 bits we know that with the help of half adder we can perform addition operation on 2 bits whereas with the help of full adder we can perform addition operation on 3 bits ok so now what we are doing with the help of binary adder we are performing addition operation on 2 binary numbers if we add 2 bits then we may get some carry so we have to forward that carry to its previous bit so that's why we have to use full adder why because here we need to perform addition operation on 3 bits so now let's see the diagram for a 4 bit full adder uh, so before that let us take an example let the first two binary number is 1100 0, 0. second binary number is 1010 1, 0. so this is the first binary number let it be a this is the second binary number let it be b so here the bits of a are a3 a2 a1 a0 where a3 is the most significant bit and a0 is the least significant bit okay so likewise b also contains four bits such as b3 b2 b1 b0 where b3 is the most significant bit b0 is the least significant bit so here we need four full adders why because we need to add first to these three these two bits next to these two as well as carry from this one next we need to add these two as well as carry from this one okay so we need four full adders why because here the size of your binary number is four bits okay so we need four full adders so this is the first full adder first full adder next second full adder next third full adder next fourth full adder fourth full adder okay fourth full adder uh, here what are the inputs to the first full adder so here the first binary number contains four bits such as a3 a2 a1 a0 okay so this bit is nothing but uh, uh, this bit is nothing but a3 b3 next this full adder performs addition on a2 b2 next a1 b1 next this full adder accepts a0 b0 okay a0 b0 okay uh, next here what is a naught 0 what is b naught 0 so here we have to pass some carry to the first full adder so here what is this carry let this carry is denoted by c in input carry so here this carry is always 0 0 if we perform addition operation on 0 and 0 uh, let us take here uh, 1 1 let us take 1 1 here let us take 1 1 here so if we perform addition on 1 1 then we will get sum as 0 so it produces yes not so here what is a not a not means 1 what is b not b not means 1 so this full adder performs addition operation on a not b not and input carry that is sum and input carry that is 0 it produces yes not as the output and if you see here 1 plus 1 0 with a carry 1 with a carry 1 so here what is the sum here sum is 0 here we are getting some carry so we have to connect that carry as input to the its previous full adder okay so let this carry is let it is c0 let it is c1 c1 okay uh, so here what is c1 1 okay what is a1 here what is a1 a1 is 0 what is b1 1 okay what is c1 here 
here c1 is 1 okay so the output carry of the first fully adder is connected as input carry to the next fully adder okay now this fully adder performs addition operation on 0 1 and 1 okay so 1 plus 1 is 1 plus 1 is nothing but 0 so here this is nothing but yes not so here what is yes not yes not value is 0 yes not value is 0 so next it produces s1 as the output here what is s1 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 what is the result 0 with a carry 1 okay so here what is s1 value 0 now here we are getting carry so that output carry will be connected as input to its previous fully adder okay so let it be c2 let it be c2 so now the inputs to the third fully adder are a2 b2 and c2 what is a2 value 1 what is b2 value 0 what is c2 value c2 value is 1 so 1 plus 1 0 with a carry 1 so it produces s2 as the output okay so here what is s2 here sum is 0 so sum is 0 and that carry that output carry will be supplied as input carry to the next its previous full, full adder okay its previous full adder okay 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1 0 with a carry 1 now this full adder accepts a3 what is a3 value 1 what is b3 value 1 what is this output carry 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 means yeah it performs addition operation on three ones so three ones means the result is the sum is 1 whereas the carry is also 1 okay so here sum is s3 denoted by 1 and here what is the carry here so this carry is nothing but c4 so here what is the carry value 1 if we perform addition operation on two binary numbers then the resultant sum may produce n bits or n plus 1 bits if the resultant sum pro produces n bits then we can say that there is no overflow whereas if the resultant sum contains n plus 1 bits then we can say that there is a overflow if we observe here so here we got how many bits here we got how many bits 5 bits why because 1 plus 1 plus 1 means sum is 1 and carry is 1 okay so we have to consider this one also here we got 5 bits here we here we got n plus 1 bits so we can say that there is a overflow okay so here the definition for the 4 bit binary adder is it is a connection it is a it is a collection of fully adders which are connected one by one in such a way that output carry of one full adder is connected as input carry to its previous full adder okay so all the full adders are connected in cascade fashion cascade fashion means one by one where output carry of one full adder is connected as input carry to its previous full adder here four bit binary adder mainly produces sum as the output as well as it also produces carry as the output so it mainly produces two outputs sum and carry so this is about 4-bit binary adder.